John Bershani, and I thought today we'd take a quick look at my foam canister cannon. Now it starts off with a little bit of alcohol, a couple drops into this container. I let it sit for a moment or two, and then we're ready to talk about chemical reactions, exothermic uh, fuels, uh, and to start it off, all I have to do is push this button and <laughs> off it goes. That was fun. Let's try it again. I have another one set up here. Push the button and <laughs> off it goes. So let's take a closer look. Now the basic piece is very simple. It starts with a piezoelectric igniter that came out of an old gas grill. The wire is probably about 20 inches long and it goes into the cap from an old foam container. When the buttons are pushed, we get a spark at those two little wires. To get it ready, we simply add a couple drops of alcohol to the container. There we go. Spread it around a little bit to give the alcohol a better chance to evaporate. Put the cap on. Now this should sit for about 30 seconds before we fire. When it's ready, push, and off it goes. The cannon is set up the same way, only it's built into a wooden frame just to make it look nicer. There was a one inch hole drilled into this piece of wood to hold the igniter, otherwise it's the same piece. The wire comes out the bottom, runs through the base of the cannon, up through the cap and out, and is tied into a knot right at the outside of that cap. There's about a one eighth inch cap between the ends of the wire. Push on the igniter and we'll see a spark. Now that spark's not dangerous, but it will give you a tingle if you touch it. For this to work good, that film container has to fit snugly on this lid. Now my fuel for this is isopropyl alcohol, about 91%. I like to put it in a small dropper just to make it easier to put it into the container. Just two drops. While we're waiting, that alcohol is going to evaporate and mix with a small amount of oxygen that's available in that container. When I push that button, it's going to start the reaction and it's going to produce small amounts of carbon dioxide and water. Plus a lot of heat. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. When I show this to my students, they say do it again and this time add more alcohol. Well, we don't want to do that. Keep it at two drops. Chemicals react in specific ratios of the reactants. If I were to add extra alcohol, it will just lie in the cap and then burn the cap after the canister is shot off. If you look closely, you can see that happening in the cap as we watch it in slow motion. So adding any more than two drops is simply a waste. It'll burn the cap, it won't fit right, and then it doesn't work.